So this cat wig that you're seeing is made from a 27 pieces cat hair and I did not add any long or straight hair to this cat wig. So after sewing your pussy cut and you realize that you're not getting this bold shape guys, add more hair to the hair to give you that shape that we are going to work with. These are the things that I'll be working with. So someone asked of the things that you need to use in making a cat wig. I'm going to be combining two cat hair, one from Diana and one, one from Royal. Of course, I will need a wake up and I'm going with a dumb style. And I have my pins for my sewing. And this pin is also going to support a little. Of course, you need a thread as well. I'll go with a scissors and a comb, my cutting comb with some blade and then finally I'll get some elastic band after everything. Don't forget your mannequin head. So I'll fix my cap on the head and don't forget to stretch it guys it's very necessary to stretch your cap to fit your client's head especially when you don't know about your client's head measurement so when you fix it you stretch it so this is after fixing the head with the cap These are the thread I'll be using. Of course, I'll be adding more thread, but this is what I'll be working with from the beginning. So when I'm going to start, I will start from the tip of my lace. That is the wick cup. On the very tip of the wake up, I'm doing this because I'm working with short hair and I don't want this hair to be so scanty. So I want to fill every part of this lace. So this is after sewing I'm going to cut the hair and then continue I did not draw any measurement most of the time I usually give measurement to my cut wig so I'll still go with the 0.5 but you can still go with 0.5 or 0.4 just that you should always keep in mind that the intervals is not going to be too wide So in this video, I'm going to be making the bow cap hair, the one on my thumbnail, the viral video. But with this video, I'm not going to be using any straight hair. So we are going to be working with the cut hair to achieve that video. So basically, this video is going to be on low budget compared to the other video.
so after ending my stitch i'll take it backwards a little this is just going to help to secure the thread So on this part, I'm going to be taking the longer part of the hair. When you're sewing on the elastic band, make sure that you do not let your needle pass through the elastic band. This is going to prevent your wig from moving when you wear it. Do not let your needle pass through the elastic band. Just sew on the lace. As you can see me in the video. Don't forget to always secure the thread anytime you are starting a new stitch or anytime you are working with a new hair. So starting from the start or from the very beginning, I worked with just one bundle of hair on each line. So single hair bundle on each line and you can go with 0.5 centimeters measurement on each line to this length. I love sewing my wig this way because it makes my wig very neat and very beautiful so you can see it from the video how neat and beautiful this sewing is. So now we're on the front part and I'm going to start from the very tip of the lace as I did at the back. And this is the part that I'm going to combine the other hair, that is the royal hair. I wanted to double the hair, that is the royal hair, but I realized that this hair is very thick than Dinah. I'll be doing a single bundle hair, like I'll be sewing it singularly like the way i did at the back but at the front part the spacing is going to be different from that of the back if you're going to be working with 0.5 at the back then at the front you should be working with 0.25 or 0.3 this is just going to add up with the hair and if you think you cannot do the spacing like that and you want to go ahead and double the hair it is okay you're still going to achieve the ball shape so after sewing two royal hair i added one diana so two white one black i wanted to blend the white color I'm not really a fan of colored hair so i wanted to blend the white color 
so it's going to be like this two white one black two white one black so after the third stage i the next stage followed i sold it circularly so after the first three straight stage the fourth one i sold it circularly so it follows like that so i'll be sewing it circularly till i get to where i want to do the closing so this is where i'll be ending my hair bundles so i will attach my closure i'm going to be sewing this closure very close to the last stitch that i did on the hair bundles so if you want a video on how to ventilate your own closure i already have a video on ventilating you can do it to check it on my channel after sewing everything i realized that the hair was very scanty like the front part wasn't too heavy for me so i went behind the scene to add more hair to the hair that i've already sewn so guys if you like the video please do not forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share this video the part two of this video drops soon I hope this video was informative enough guys if you have any question please do not forget to leave it in the comment section and i will be attending to every comment that will appear and guys up to this time if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're doing and i don't know what you are doing and i will say it again i don't know what you're doing guys please subscribe to my youtube channel so on this channel i make pizzy cuts i do natural hair growth and i make hairstyles so if you're a fan of this kind of things don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to share this video as well it might help somebody out there until then i'm going to see you in my next video bye bye